Ooh. End of the run, your IAT was 79 degrees. <laughs> That's so stupid. It's like 50 horsepower over what a regular five liter would make. That's crazy, you're shooting flames? It's time. Finally. Everybody's been waiting. How much power's making the dyno? Well. What well, you have a guess. Rip that. About 350. I mean, I'll be happy with that, honestly. If it stays together, I'll be thrilled. <laughs> Here we go. It's looking mighty good. Time for the Red Queen to make a little bit of power. Yes, sir. Man, it looks so good. This is the angle right here. Oh my gosh. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we go. Yes, finally, we're on the dyno. First time since the uh, the engine has been rebuilt and put back together and we've done all the crazy stuff to this. By the way, guys, if you're new to the channel, this is a 2019 Ford Mustang GT. It has an Odin Stage 3 blower on it. We have a big ice tank in the back and it's sitting on top of an RPG built 5.2 block Gen 3 Coyote heads and a Gen 3 Coyote crank. We have the stroke of a Coyote, but we do have more bore out of the 5.2 from the 88 millimeter pulley. The VMP, it's a factory pulley, guys. This is when you buy an Odin, this is the pulley that you're going to get 88 millimeter. We are 93 pump gas, nothing special. We're on a Mustang dyno here at the horsepower factory in Henderson, Tennessee, hanging out with my buddy Speed Addict 731. He's going to do all the, the piloting. Uh, on the dyno here. The reason we're doing 93 is because a lot of people, a lot of you guys are interested. You know, it kind of tells a story. This is the lowest amount of horsepower that this car will be able to make, right? And then we're just going to go up. So it's a built motor, built trans, built suspension, built everything. It's a race car at this point, honestly. We already have the Grip Tech 69 pulley ready to go on. It's definitely going to make a thousand plus horsepower. We do have a little bit more displacement than a regular five liter. Is it going to be like really substantial? Probably not. Maybe 30, 40 horsepower. I don't know. Typically an Odin on a gen, well, you know, on a 1819 Mustang, with an Odin supercharger, because since you've seen a few, installed a few, he also has his own shop now, HPR. I'm gonna link it down below. If you need anything installed and you're in like the Jackson Henderson like area of Tennessee. I've had, I've had people well, that's right. Hours away. Guys are coming across the country just so that you can work on it. But anyway, Odin superchargers. Mm -hmm. What have you seen them typically make out here on this dyno? Here, this is the Mustang dyno. Yeah. Just a little. They're lower than dyno jet. Right. They're greedy. They they're not big power. But so on a dyno jet, it should make it a little more. That's what you're saying. Yeah. The last one we had on a dyno jet was six ninety nine seven hundred. Okay. But out here. Same setup, same tuner, it did 685. Right. 687, I'm sorry. 687. 687. Yeah, this is the big pulley. We'll do this again when we pulley down so we can keep it consistent. We're gonna see what the 88 will do with this displacement. I'm kind of excited. I really, honestly, at the end of the day, I don't care too much because it's 93 gas and it's a built motor. But again, this is storytelling. So this gives us- um, Story time. It is story time. Yeah, look how good this car looks, man. I, I would not get rid of that hood. That's not Dude, the hood has completely grown on me. And you already sold it. I never already sold it. With the wheels and the whole red and black. Hit a few bugs on the way up here, man. Ooh, look at that guy. That's gross. Since I'm in town, we're going to actually go to the track. So get ready for the next video because we're going to make power, right? See what it does. And then we're going to go to the track and try to back it up. When we, we pull it down and do 85 and all that stuff, we're gonna do basically the same thing again. And that way we can see the progression. I think you guys will really appreciate that. Kind of tell again, tells a story. They're not that low. Oh, shiznit. Uh, I expect the numbers to be a little bit low, but I, I, again, if we are anything north of 720, with the uh, added displacement that we have, I'm gonna be happy with that because truthfully, if we're beneath that, I'm gonna cry. So we got Daryl Wingard behind uh, the tuning. 
So all links for like the tuning and you know all that stuff will be down in the description, guys. I very much recommend him. Um, he's been flawless so far. Love it. Oh, I had to use. Sometimes you got to get like a crescent wrench and what? Uh, do what? I'm I'm serious. Why are you tying it so I tight? I it's way? not. It's not tight. Okay, it's the plastic. Uh, it's peeing. Uh, why are you tighten it so tight? I did not. You know, it's just when the plastic heats up. I think. I know Marvin made it hurt somebody else's feeling. <laughs> <laughs> no, I might not eat my. Nah. Dick. Nah. Duh. Okay, I, okay, maybe if I, 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 I thought maybe I just didn't have my <laughs> weedy today. I get a burger player. I didn't have my weedy. I use a yeah, I use a big pair of house. Why, you know, I wonder if you know later on in the day I'm like, did it, is, um, is it that tight or am I just weak today? No, I think it's just a plastic. Or no, when it's cold, it's easy to take off. Yeah. When it's well, hot. Well, because what happens when things it contracts, hot? Swell. swells. Yeah. When it gets cold. It one side, I mean, that's the way it works for me. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Who did it? Shit, dude. I mean, really? That's, that's... Oh, yeah, I can't... Man, there it is. It's just stuck. Shit, it is a horse <laughs> saying, what's up? <laughs> 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 so we're putting ice in the tank, obviously. That's why we bought it. And then we want to run this thing as optimally as we can. Say because word, this, that, optimally, 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 <laughs> at, 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 this is the way that we would run on the track. So this is the way we're going to run on the dyno. You need, I got to need it. Man. No, dude. Mullet. Dude, it is, Mullet. It is out Comment of below. Oh. Mullet. Every time. You better edit it. No, it stays in the video. What? <laughs> it's going to fall off. <laughs> oh, we should have brought like five bags. Andrew, you're on camera. How am I on camera? There's no camera. Because I'm filming you, bruh. Yeah, 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 get it off. Here we go. All right. Oh, well, that was fast, huh? I didn't, I didn't hear it. What did you say? <laughs> Ready? Okay. It's going to be... It's going to get loud. Oh, I know. I, I turned my volume down. I'm prepared. Okay. It dipped down and came back. What did it do? Huh? Okay. What did it make? No, it did not. Bro! 744 first hit. It's like 50 horsepower <laughs> over what a regular five liter would make. Wow! It made 530! Hell yeah! 744 first hit. I, I figured it'd be 750 plus. Well, we ain't done. But well, we got no more ice, so hopefully it's still cooled down. Uh, when it first took off, it was just spinning the tires on the dyno, getting all the dirt off of them. And then that's when when you feel it go down, it's when it grabbed the hold. And yeah, I got you. Yeah, it sounded like it spun, so. It was some tire spin plus load on the dyno coming in because it hit it a little bit. I got you. Okay. Yeah. Might be a long video, and I don't really care at this point. We're having fun. That's super impressive. I was gonna be happy at anything north of 720. We're already over that. That's that's I'm mind blown. Yeah, everybody's gonna ask. What do the ITs look like? So at the end of the run, your IT was 79 degrees. <laughs> that's so stupid. At the end of the run. At the end of the run. That's so stupid. It actually started a little higher than that yeah. and actually cooled down. Yeah. That's freaking cool, it dude. It was at 77 degrees at one point in time, and Same it's point. over 90 degrees in the shot. I was surprised to say you're 50 horsepower, 40 to 50 horsepower over a uh, five up. Hey, I'll update the camera real quick before we make a second hit. This is straight 93, no additive. So I always go to like Shell, but this has got about a half a tank of whatever I could find, which is racetrack. So not the best at E85. Leave your guesses down below E85 on this pulley what it will do now this is jack's dragway is about 30 minutes away but this is gonna be similar yeah da right now is 3,000 feet 3,000 feet of da it's, it's a little muggy bad 93 too on a big pulley on a big 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 pulley i got the flame huh I got the flame. it was shooting flames yeah. oh i need that that's crazy it's shooting flames really Oh. All right, so we lost power, 714.
Oh wow, there it is. Yeah, I got it. That's cool. 98 is what we're starting at. Yeah, and we're in like 3,000 feet of air, so. You got more flame? You need better fuel. Better fuel? Yeah, better fuel. It's pulling timing? Yeah, that gas is shit. Okay. So basically, I can look at the law between the two pools. Yeah. The IATs went up. If you was to put, if you was to put some ice in the tank, put some boosting in it, it makes, it make right, it go right back to what it's making. All yeah, the yeah, so uh, okay, just the octane. The first pool is actually what it does. The boosting, bro. Octane. I don't care how you spill it. We we cooled it back down. We got your horsepower up. You're still octane. You're pulling time. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. It's yeah, just I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's just not giving you everything you want. Well, it's a it's, with, with it's a built motor. I mean, like I honestly don't give a crap about 93 pump gas. You know, I don't care about boosting. Dude, it's it's cool to have, you know, 700 horsepower for a street car. You made 725 on that. Yeah. On that that hit, so at the end of the day, we've got 744 was our peak that highest number. 744 is what it'll do on with the when it's not pulling timing. Right. What it is, we're gonna get this car on E85 very quickly. Come back out here and do it again. We will not have an octane issue at that point. No boosting, no additive, no nothing. I'm very impressed because again, like I said at the beginning of the video, if this were a regular GT 5.0 with Odin's on them, Gen 3 Mustangs, uh, 5 liters, they're making around 700. Again, I don't really care too much about 93 guys. It's time to go E85, it's time to pull it down and send it. But before we do that, we have to hit the racetrack. That's going to be coming in the next video is we're going to try to see what 744 horsepower we're going to ice it down on the track and see what we can get. So subscribe, turn the notification bell on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.